in the still of the night, here starteth the travel lodge. Log. <laughs> uh, you can't be getting it wrong to start off with. This is MBO 5 2018, Thursday the 31st of May. Yeah, May 2018. 02 12 hours British summer time. I'm off to Dorchester. It's humid, warm, still, not quite open yet, however, there's a yellow rain warning for later on today. Flash floods, thunder and lightning, very very frightening. Next stop, Sedgemoor South. Coffee time. In the meantime, I'm going to start my day on a scotch egg. I don't want to say good morning internet, because I'm listening to good morning internet. Actually, it's good day internet, but who cares. Sedgemoor South Services. There's the entrance. Coffee, and dig out the Chromebook. Mr. Manning. Well, it's wet, but lightish. And they have two Costa Coffees in there, and they're both shut. Okay, I could have gone to McDonald's and it's a Costa coffee machine, but uh, I just wanted a coffee. Mind you, I actually wanted Wi-Fi, which I used. And the Chromebook, the Chromebook records video in WebM. Which kind of makes sense. Which is very YouTube friendly. And the camera, the HDR high def, not actually, well, not 720p anyway. It's not bad. I'll go with it. Anyway, back to DTNS. Well, it's just after six o'clock and Dorchester and the journey in over the hump coming into Dorchester, rather misty. And there's the brew house and kitchen. In the distance is the train station and about a hundred yards past that tree, just past the red thing. <laughs> red thing, bottom thing. Uh, cost of coffee. I have good thoughts. I need coffee. I need bacon. Um, a bit like refreshment, no doubt. Full of coffee, so coffee. Water to start. And we're off. Um, there was water to start, uh, basically because this is near Cardiff. And uh, this is Ramsbury Gold. On the Rams with Rolly, 4.5% alcohol by volume. Put the citrusy golden ale. A little bit too cold. Carpet for Mr. Manning, as per usual. Hmm. Malty, citrusy, and bitter. That's quite nice. I need to be careful because I ate the lemon near the lime that was in my water. So I might have a little bit of a hangover from that. Maybe hangover, not the right word. Mm. Fruity as well. Three plus in a bit. It's taken me 18 minutes to drink my first pint. I think that makes me rather relaxed. This is the Spirit of Kent by Westerham Brewery. 4% alcohol by volume. It has a Spitfire on the front of the pump clip with D-Day markings on the wings and the rear fuselage. Don't know if that means anything. <coughs> the uh, cellar here is rather cool. Um, needs a while to warm up and clear because they're slightly hazy. Not naturally hazy. Anyway, here we go. And that was the last. Mm. Nicely bitter. A little bit citrusy. A little bit sharp. Fruity. Um, B plus. I would say a session ale. 
Okay, so with that amber rain and thunder and lightning and the end of the world warning for, I think it's this area and South Wales, this is a pint of Aussie summer. 4% alcohol by volume um, from the Otter Brewery. And the curry is on order. Mm, the cold. So that's the two core, and we come back to that one. And then back, that's warmed up a bit, and you can probably see it a little bit. So. Um, like bitter, hint of citrus, bad drink. B plus. Is it the calm before the storm? It is mighty humid at the moment. Anyway, 10 yards down the alley. Boy, is it humid out. Anyway, I am on. And it's a collab between um, the Bude Brewery and the Moonchild Brewing Co. Um, Tuffle beer, table beer, 2.9% alcohol by volume and reading off the Belgian Stein table be a single hop with Equinox for a fuller flavour. Yeah. Equinox, not Equinox. Wheel falling. Oh. Weighing in at 2.9%, that is. That's really good. Hoppy. Slightly, slightly fruity. Spicy bitter finish. Yes, B plus and a bit tish. Uh, it's halfway between a bit and plus plus. It's very good. Update. The viewed moon child from last time I had a tweet back from them. It's no longer a collab, it's just viewed at Beauty. Anyway, moving on. Um, this is from Bay Town, not Beaver Town Brewery. This is Peach Mel Bay. M E L B E A R, 4.4% alcohol by volume. And huge aroma of peach. The taste is there's alder flower in there. And there's a, a gentle, sweet, peachy finish. Mm, very nice. B plus in a bit. Well, based on what happened with the taffel beer, where it turned out not to be a collab, let's try again. This is Emma Brook Mosaic. 6.2% alcohol by volume, Gal 59, 8 arch. It says. Six hops, bittersweet, salty, malty, sharp, tangy, hoppy taste. And... I'd say yes. Certainly complex. It is bitter, it is sweet. Very malty. Nice hoppy finish. Yeah, B plus in a bit. But is it a real collab? Stop ringing. Oh, okay. I don't know if this is my last. Um, I was up at 10 to 1 this morning. With bread and butter by Vocation Brewery. Um, Tesco's favourite. Uh, this is bread and butter, 3.9%. I'm very nicely hot, dry hot. Hoppy, hoppy. 
and more hoppy. B plus in a bit. Very nice, very refreshing. And no rain. <laughs>